Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. Today I am back with an excellent DIY product that works wonders for the hair and for the body. It can be used as a shea mask where you leave it on your hair or on the body and then wash it off with the normal shampoo. If you're using it on the hair, you can wash it off with a normal shampoo and conditioner. Or if you're um, using, it, using it on the body, you can um, you know, leave it for one hour and then take bath. It just makes the hair uh, soft and frizz free and also especially when you have when you're suffering with dandruff and dry scalp um, because it has a shea butter in it 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 works wonders and it reduces the inflammation reduces eczema on the body and dry skin so what not or you can use this product um, after before going to bed sometimes I um, just take a little bit is so soft and so supple um, you can just apply all over your body and skin feels soft and supple the next morning because it is used as a mask uh, or moisturizer i i call it as shea mask curizer so the main ingredient uh, in this product is the shea butter shea butter we all, as we all know it comes from the shea uh, nuts of shea tree which is native to africa so uh, if you can um, if you want best results you try to buy refined sorry unrefined or raw shea butter where all the vitamins are locked in they they're not lost so i am using unrefined shea butter here and also i'm using almond oil sweet almond oil skin responds better to uh, seed oils because these oils uh, they mimic the natural oils that are found in the skin and they help in reducing uh, clogged pores and they don't clog pores so let's get into it without any further rambling let's get into the process of making the shea uh, mask curizer for that we need all these ingredients most importantly one cup of shea butter shea butter the best shea butter to use is unrefined she unrefined or raw shea butter and it looks like slightly yellowish in color I am not using, I'm not melting the shea butter, no heat is used because it becomes crumbly after a few days of whipping. So before you begin the process, it should be in the room temperature. And then I am using um, organic virgin coconut oil, this is one tablespoon. And um, one tablespoon of sweet almond oil, this is 100% uh, pure moisturizing almond oil and then few drops of vitamin E oil because uh, shea butter has slight odor to it if you don't want that you can add uh, any essential oil here I am using peppermint oil just few drops first um, in this bowl uh, of one tablespoon of coconut oil I'm adding one tablespoon of sweet almond oil few drops of vitamin E oil few drops of peppermint essential oil first scrape all the shea butter this is one cup of approximately one cup of shea butter into the mixing bowl mixing carrier oils into shea butter um, prevents from re-hardening after the um, whipping is done so that's the reason why we add carrier oils into it so I am first going to make this into a smoother texture so there, there are no lumps in it and then I'm going to add the carrier oils into it. Now the lumps are not there, it's just kind of smoothened a little bit. It's the time when I add the carrier oils, including um, essential oil. Take a spatula and scrape the sides of the bowl 
to make sure you get all of the unmixed portions like that and now um, until you feel it's like a whipped cream we need to whisk And it's a time now to check the consistency. Now it's, it is very smooth, but if you feel your shea butter is harder, try adding a little bit of more of carrier oils, then it will smoothen. And I'm going to take this into an airtight container. Because we are not using any water-based uh, ingredients in this one, so it, it, it stores without any problem for a couple of months. So I have applied on my um, hair and then left it for one hour and then washed it off with shampoo and moisture and conditioner. So it looks like this, nice and, and my hair feels lighter. Um, because we used whipped, we whipped the shea butter um, it makes the because of the whipping the air the air bubbles are finely uh, spread to the butter and then it comes into this consistency so just um, keep it store it in a dry uh, cool place I usually store it in linen in my linen cupboard where light and heat are not uh, easily passed so um, it, it would usually usually be um, good for a couple of months that's all for today. Uh, hope you liked the video and thank you so much for watching.